Hi guys, I know a lot of you have been interested in the um, in the Kiranite handle material. Um, I mean, if you haven't seen um, Gavco's results, Mike's results, they're just amazing. Um, and I can see how difficult this is to work with now. Uh, now bear in mind, this is just a blank, it hasn't been heat treated. The only reason I can work on the scales is because they're removable. Uh, but that's been sanded um, through to around 600 grit. You can see there's a, a couple of places. Um, there you go. You can see there's a couple of little scratches that I still need to get out. Uh, but that's a 600 grit finish. Um, I don't think I'd actually take it any further than that because it will become, at the minute, it's really tactile. I think if I was to buff it and polish it, it would just become too slippy. And in my opinion, that's not the best as a knife handle. Um, but it, it does have a lot of potential and the good thing is a 15 mile from where I live I know where there's a rack in a shop that must have 200 different types of this already pre-cut into knife scales that aren't for knife scales uh, <laughs> yep so I'm definitely going to be using some more of it um, just a, a quick tip uh, for the guys that are using it um, I don't use sandpaper, um, I use stuff that's called Abronet, um, I couldn't find one that's not part used so you can get the look on it, it's made by a company called Merca and you can get it in all different grits and this stuff is way better than sandpaper, it lasts a lot longer, yes it's more expensive but it lasts a lot longer and it doesn't clog um, and I think that's partially why I've been able to sand this so quick when I say quick it wasn't that quick but you get the idea but yeah there you go there's an update on the Kiranite handles a lot of work but nice